Two people die every second in our world. That's 120 every one minute. In the five minutes allotted me here on the Reed 650 stage, 600 people will have died. I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 88 years old, and I am in what the Irish call the departure lounge. <laughs> and when I awake in the morning, and indeed at any time, and perceive a ceiling in my purview, I breathe a thankful sigh and lounge for as long as necessary, and then I arise, grateful to be alive. However, if there is a coffin lid within six inches of my nose, it will probably occur to me there's no point in attempting to get up and pretending to be alive. So what is gratitude all about? First, I am grateful that my parents did what is sometimes referred to as it. <laughs> if my parents didn't do it, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> Second, most of us begin life when some stranger gives us a whack on the arse to jumpstart our breathing. A person living to 80 will take 673 million breaths up from the 960 breaths he or she will take in the average hour. I am grateful for the first breath of life. Third, I am grateful that strange fate placed me in Brooklyn, New York on the date of my birth, the 20th of September, 1931. Instead of the transatlantic crossing to Ireland, where our family was bedeviled by disease, despair, and child death, in Ireland, we were poverty-stricken. Now, poverty is a disease that motivates people like me to be resourceful, cunning, devious in the survival game of life. Some of us acted like tough guys, as did my brother Frank. He was gruff, fearless, and even though of slight build, he intimidated bigger, tougher kids who were bullies. I opted for the smiling charmer route, <laughs> as I had that rare physical quality among the Irish of having all my teeth <laughs> shiny and white. The women liked my bright, shining face, my respectful attitude, not knowing that behind this charming bio was me figuring out what I could gain from the encounter. Pennies, sweets, cakes. So I'm grateful I learned to survive. Mostly, though, I am filled with gratitude for finding love with my beloved Diana. Gratitude seems such a mild word in our lexicon of our romance. In the maleness of Irish history, expressing love could be considered sissyish, not to mention weak, except when referring to a sports team or where to get the best pint of Guinness Stout. <laughs> Irishmen never express love for their spouses or for whatever blessings she brings to their lives. Neither do they ever refer to their wives by name. They say, she is always late with my tea. She never does my shirts right. She's always complaining about me having a pint. But I am eternally grateful to Diana. I'm also grateful for the companionship of my three brothers, Frank, Mike, and Alfie, and the affection, the peace, the love we found in each other before they died. I am blessed with four grown offspring, Siobhan, Malachi, Connor, and Cormac, all who give my heart a warm embrace when I think of them. I adore my stepdaughter, Nina, who opened up my mind to developmental disabilities with her warrior-like reaction to the horrors of institutional life at Willowbrook. I delight at being a grandfather to nine human beings, each of whom warms my heart. At the end of the day, I'm grateful 
that I live among people who tolerate books, essays by an uneducated, semi-literate lover of family, admirer of mountains, and delighter of living one day, one hour, one breath at a time. Thank you.